Tired of manually entering data from business cards, receipts, or any text-based images? Say goodbye to tedious data entry. In this video, we'll show you how to build a powerful chatbot using VoiceFlow and Gemini 1.5 that can effortlessly extract data from images and populate your Google Sheets. If you are not familiar with VoiceFlow, VoiceFlow is a platform that requires no code or low code. We can drag drop blocks to build a very flexible and powerful chatbot. It has a free plan good for unlimited days. Let us take a look at the chatbot, which allows the user to upload a picture containing business cards, receipts, etc. The chatbot will send the image to Gemini 1.5 Flash to extract the data such as the name, role, email, and phone number, website information from the business cards, and automatically save them to the Google Sheet. Let us see the details. The first block is a set block, where we save the Gemini API key in the variable. Next we use a text block to let the user input his question. We then use a capture block to capture the entire user reply and save it in the variable question. After this, we use a text block to let the user input the grid number of Google Sheet, where the data will be saved to. Again, we use a capture block to capture the entire user reply and save it in the variable grid. Next, we let the user upload the image, which contains the receipts, business cards, or other text-based images. We use a custom action block to allow user to upload the image. The name of the block is ext underscore image. In the action body, we will pass information, such as the Gemini API key, the Google Sheet grid number, and the user question using the corresponding variables. We set the complete path as default. Also, we need to turn on the stop on action to let the bot wait until the user finishes the custom action. Next, we use a set block to set the variable data by extracting the image data from the payload of the last event, and set the variable answer by extracting the Gemini answer from the payload of the last event. We then use an image block to display the image data, and a text block to display the Gemini answer to the user. We finally provide two buttons for the user to click. The Save Another Data button brings the user to the beginning and let him upload another image. The other button is to simply end the conversation. The whole process can extract data from the uploaded image and automatically save the data to Google Sheet. Let us publish the chatbot. You can click the Embed Widget button to integrate your chatbot with your website. If you are interested, you can watch our previous videos. I will skip this step as I have already done so. Recall, in the custom action block, we use an extension, which is shown here as the image extension. We define the name and the type as response. We then check if the trace type or the payload name matches the string of ext underscore image. In the render, we extract the Gemini API key, the grid number, and the user question from the payload. If all the variables are not null, we create an element, file container. In the inner HTML, we have styles, and a label, and a file input to allow the user to upload the image file. We add an event listener and extract the file from the file input. Next, we read image data from the uploaded file. We create an object of file reader. In its own load end function, we save the result in the variable image data. We need to split the data and get rid of the image head in order to pass the data to Gemini 1.5. We set the body data as the JSON string containing the contents and parts and pass the user question as the key of text. In the inline data, we have the MIME type and the image data. Specifically, in the generation config, we have the response MIME type so the Gemini 1.5 flash will return the JSON data. Next, we have the API call to Gemini 1.5 flash. We fetch data using the URL containing the model name and the Gemini API key. The HTTP method is POST. We have the content type in the headers. In the body, we pass the body data as defined previously. If the response is not OK, we throw the error to indicate the Gemini HTTP error. Otherwise, we extract the JSON body from the response. Again, we check if the response body is null or it is not an object then we will throw the error. We use this data structure to extract the Gemini answer and save it in the variable. 
At this moment, we can pass the image data and Gemini answer out to the chatbot using the payload. As we have the Gemini answer, we are going to save it to Google Sheet. In the URL, we have the webhook URL and the grid number of the Google Sheet. Please watch our previous video showing how to set up a webhook for a Google Sheet. I think it is very convenient to read and write data. We have the HTTP method of post, the content type in the headers, and in the body, we pass the Gemini answer, which is the data extracted from the image. Finally, we check if the response is OK. If not, we throw the error so we will know the Google Sheet HTTP has an error. Do not forget to call the files method read as data URL. We also need to append the file container to the element. That is all for the extension. In the index.html file, we need to import the image extension, and also add it in the extensions array. Now let us go to the website, which has been integrated with the chatbot. Please watch our previous video to learn how. We are going to input our question, which is basically a prompt. We will upload a picture of a business card. So in the prompt, we say, list the names, roles, emails, phone numbers, and website URLs in this picture using this JSON schema, and we want all the objects to be put in an array, which can be passed and saved to Google Sheet. We make a copy and paste it in the box. Next, we will input the grid number of the Google Sheet. Let us go to the Google Sheet where we have the column names of name, role, email, phone, and website. We can get the grid number at the end of the URL. We select it and make a copy. Paste it here and enter it. Now we need to upload the image file. Let me pick a business card, which has the name of Julia Carlson from Beauty Salon. We can see on the right the image data has been uploaded. Now we have the image displayed in the chatbot, and the data in JSON format containing the name, role, email, phone, and website. Let us check the Google Sheet. We can see the data has been saved to the Google Sheet with all the information. This works fantastically. As we have shown, we can upload the image of a business card, and the chatbot extracts all the information and saves it to the Google Sheet. I attended many conferences before and received tons of business cards during the conference. I had to enter the information on the business cards one by one, and it was tedious. Now we can simply take a one picture containing many business cards and upload the image and the chatbot will automatically save the information to the Google Sheet. Now let us go back to the chatbot and save another data. We use the same prompt and grid number. Let us upload an image containing four business cards. Can the chatbot extract the information from all the four business cards? We can see the image displayed on the chatbot along with the data in JSON. We do see four objects with the name, role, email, phone, and website. Let us go to the Google Sheet. Yes. The data has been saved. We have the information from the four business cards saved here. This is very good. In the future, you may test to save maybe 20 business cards at one time. If you do, please come back and leave a comment down there to let us know. Next, we will upload a receipt image. In the prompt, we have the instruction, list the item names, prices, and store name in this picture using this JSON schema, and put all the objects in an array. Let us make a copy and paste it. This time, we are going to use another grid. We have the column names, store, item, and price. We make a copy of the grid number and paste it in the box. We upload an image of the receipt from Walmart. We see the receipt image in the chatbot and the data including the store name, items, and prices. Let us check the Google Sheet, and we can see the data saved here. On the weekend, I went shopping at different stores, and bought lots of stuff. Thus I have many receipts. I wanted to save all the items in a place, which is very well organized and legible. But I am tired to input the items one by one. Now the chat bot comes to save. Since these are receipts, we can use the same prompt and grid number. We upload an image containing three receipts from Lowe's, Walmart, and Staples. We can see the image displayed on the chatbot and all the item data from the receipts. Let us check the Google Sheet, and we can see the newly saved data. This is very convenient. You may experiment with 10 or even 20 receipts 
take one picture, upload it, and save the data to the Google Sheet in one shot. In summary, we have shown you how to build a powerful chatbot, which is completely free. It leverages the power of Gemini 1.5 for image processing and data extraction. You can integrate your chatbot with Google Sheets for seamless data transfer and automate data entry for business cards, receipts, and more. This can drastically save time and increase efficiency in your personal and professional life. If you like this video, please subscribe and give a thumbs up. If you have any comments and suggestions, please let us know. Thank you for your support.